Hi, James at CG Cars here with a walk around of our Ford Focus. It's a 2012 1.6 petrol manual and it's a ZTEC. The Ford Focus 1.6 petrol is renowned for being a really good car. The 1.6 ZTEC engine is really well known for being a reliable engine. And the Ford Focus chassis, they handle really well. They fit everybody in. That's why they sell so well. This one's got low mileage. We'll look at the exact mileage in a moment. It's just had a brand new advisory free MOT and we've just done a service on it. We did oil filters, oil, spark plugs, air filter. So it's all set to go for its new owner. So as with all of our walk arounds, what we're gonna do next is go around the car panel by panel so we can show you any small defects so you know exactly what you'd be coming to see if you're traveling from distance. We'll take a look at the interior as well and I'll point out any features as we go along. Please note, a lot of what I show you wouldn't be noticeable unless I pointed it out to you. We'll take an overall look at the car afterwards, but to, like I say, we'd like to be very detailed about it. Um, apologies if it gets repetitive at all. There's only so many ways you can describe panels and paintwork. So starting with the front of the car, we did replace both headlights. They'd gone a bit faded and uh, they had some condensation in them. So you've got brand new headlights, which is why they're both super clear and clean. We do like our cars to look bang on. We've got a new badge on the front there as well because um, they can oxidize. It lets down the look of the vehicle. Across the front here, there's no real stone chips to talk of at all across the bonnet. I think there's one tiny little one there. Uh, again, we will be very, very picky. You wouldn't normally notice that. All the paintwork along the front edge is good here. Your grill is good. There's no crap plastics along there. The, the uh, sort of grills either side are in good condition. There's a minor marking on the very front edge, which you'd expect of a car this age, sort of caught against the curb here and there, I guess. You've got your chrome down here and your spotlights is in good condition. You've got a little touch in someone's done on the front bumper there. Coming around the other side of the bumper. Actually, that's all good. There's no real marks to note there at all. Maybe a very small one there. Actually, I think we can probably polish it out, to be honest. We must have missed that in prep. But overall, the front end of the car are really good condition. As you can see, it's got a really nice shine to it. The bonnet doesn't have any dings or dents on it or big scrapes and scratches. Going into the passenger wing, that's good. It's got it's a really nice sort of metallic grey, this one. I don't know if it's shown on camera. It's a really nice colour, actually. As you can see, it's super reflective. Alloy wheels are in good condition. No curbing on those. Plenty of tread on the tyre. As we look down the side of the car here, there's no obvious dings and dents. The wing mirror is free of any big scrapes and scratches. It's a little, little scratch down there. Um, nothing major. Maybe a little one up here. Again, we might actually with a second go be able to polish some of those out. The passenger door is in good condition. No real, nothing to note there at all, really. The door handles are all nice. They're not scraped and scuffed up from hitting walls or anything like that. The edges of the doors are all chipped up, which they normally are this age. From hitting things the rear alley again you've got no curbing on it at all really nice condition loads of tread on the tire the rear corner of the bumper here is free of any scraping and scratching that hasn't been scuffed the rear light again is clear there's no condensation or cracking or yellowing on it as we look across the roof nice and reflective there's no dings or dents that are obvious there at all all good luck across the top of your spoiler here your rear light doesn't have any um, cracks in it or condensation build up. Looking across the back of the boot, the boot lid's all good along here. We've got another new badge on the back here as well. So again, that doesn't have the sort of lack of peel and oxidization that four badges get after a little while. You've got original supply and dealer number plates, tour in Barts with a local Ford dealership. All your chrome on your badging is good. Across the edge here, there's some minor marks from loading in the car, but nothing outrageous. The Driver's rear light, again, good condition, no cracking, no yellowing, no build up of any water in it or condensation. The corner of the bumper, again, free of any scruff, scuffs or scratches at all. Same with your quarter panel here, that's all in good condition. Nothing to note, paintwork there. Again, your alloy here is in nice condition. There's a little bit of flaking paint just up the top there. And you can see a bit of oxidization here on this wheel. Again, plenty of tire tread there. The passenger door, Again, really good. No scrapes or scratches to note. Door handle's not all banged up. Edge of the door is sort of, there's one little, little chip just there, I think. Uh, the driver's door. Again, wing mirror is free of any scrapes and scratches. The door handle doesn't have any scrapes and scratches. And the edge is pretty free, again, of chips. It's been well looked after. 
The paint on this door is in good condition. Again, nice and reflective, no scrapes or scratches. And the final panel being the driver's wing. And again, nothing really to note here at all. No scrapes, no scratches, no dents, no dings. The alloy's in good condition. No curbing on the alloy and loads of tread on the tire again. So if we look at the car in a normal manner, not going quite so close up and being quite so picky, it looks in excellent condition, it really does. So there's little things we did like replace the headlights, well not so little because they are quite expensive, replacing the headlights and uh, changing the badges out just refreshes and brings the car up to meet the rest of the paintwork, which is really good. And overall, like I say, for the age of the vehicle, over 10 years old now, really does look good. Let's take a look at the interior. So inside again, all the seats are nice and clean and tidy. There's no rips or tears or staining to them at all. Really nice. All your plastics here are good around the centre console. Then it will scrape. There's one little bit of flaking paint just there on the edge of the gear surround. Again, nothing major, nothing you'd really notice without sort of picking, picking being pointed to it. You've got your electric mirrors, electric windows, all the buttons there again are good. They're not worn through at all. On your steering wheel, we'll hop in a second. On your steering wheel, you have your Bluetooth controls for your telephone calls and voice activation. You've got your, your uh, stereo controls there. Exact mileage, 42,312, so nice low mileage. All your buttons on your stereo are in good condition. They're not worn through at all. You've got your CD, your radio, your auxiliary input, so you can plug your phone into the sound system and play your uh, music straight through the phone as well. You've got your phone, obviously, in menu for the rest of the features. Five-speed gearbox, not worn through on the leather there. You've got a heated front screen, so if you go up close, you'll see there's little little wire lines inside the screen. Your eye doesn't actually focus in on them. You have to get really close to see them, but that means you get a really quick defrosting front windscreen on frosty days. You've got your air con. All your plastics here are brilliant. They're not all scratched up. Normally where people get in and out of the car on the glove boxes, they get scratched up on the side of the door cards, get scratched up. But in this one, it, it, all, it is all in excellent condition. So we've got two keys here with the supply and main dealer information still on it there. If we put the key in the ignition there. It does say one of the batteries is low, which we'll sort out. Batteries in one of the keys is low, so we'll sort that out. Um, but if we start the car, You'll see all the lights go out as they should do. We're only left one to tell me that the handbrake is on and the uh, driver's door is open. You can see it idles nicely, benefiting from that big service we did with the fresh spark plugs and so forth. And if we give it a quick rev, see it revs freely, settles back down to the idle like it should do, no engine lights, anything like that. So let's take a look at the back seats. So as we go into the back seats again, nice and clean, no stains, no tears, no bone, burn holes, anything like that to note. The plastics again, really good on the door there. They're not all scraped and scratched up from people getting in and out. Carpet's all in nice condition. Again, passenger door here, no scrapes or scratches, all nice. And going into the boot again, nice and clean, no stains or tears on the carpet. That's all in good condition. You've got a 60-40 split. On the uh, rear seats there, you can fold them down, but you've got a really good size boot on these anyway. So into the bonnet, as per the rest of the car, nice and clean. Uh, we've just, as I said, just done a, a big service. I had the uh, oil filter, air filter, oil, and spark plugs change. Your coolant's the right color at the right level. And these 1.6 E-Tech engines are renowned for being really good engines, and they will do big miles. So there we have it. A nice Ford Focus in really good condition inside and out. Nice low mileage. Just had a brand new advisory free MOT, freshly serviced. We'll come out with a national warranty that can be used at any VAT registered garage. Please take the time out to check our reviews both on Google and Facebook. You'll find we are five star rated. Part exchanges are welcome. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And many thanks for watching our video.